Okay, this is the Migo OS for tablets. We're at the Migo booth at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and we're, we're going to be shown how it works. So what we want to emphasize here is that uh, we're organizing the user's content in a way that makes it very personal for them that the content is presented in a way where the content for the user uh, that they use most often is brought to the top. So, um, we have more uh, things in these panels. They have Twitter feeds, we have uh, Gmail, uh, we have Last FM. Uh, they would fill out this panel. The music we listen to uh, is brought to the, to the top of the panel. Uh, the photos that we uh, use more often like to see. And we can scroll through them. And in all of the places in the Amigo, they have context-sensitive menus. Pressing and holding brings up context-sensitive menu. So video player. Does it integrate with like uh, Google services? With, uh... So we, we support a lot of the Google applications. Um, there's no specific app integration in the OS as, a, as, as we have it right now, but there's no reason why you couldn't do that or work with other service providers to integrate their services. It's very, uh, very much a framework that you can add in uh, services and content to. From your point of view, why would you say that Migo is better than Android? Um, we, we believe it is truly open source. That's right. the key difference. So, you're not locked into Google's schedules for releasing products. Okay. Thank you very much.